Hello today's video we have the following content. Liu Guangyin is on air, Zhang Han and Zhu Zudin team up for the first time to explore the secrets of Longguerin continent. The severe cold of winter did not stop people from eagerly looking forward to high quality costume dramas. When everyone thought that the summer season would become a desert again, an ancient puppet drama called Liu Guangyin was quietly launched, triggering widespread discussion. This drama is adapted from the popular novel Poisonous Pet Mercenary Princess, telling a typical pampered concubine counter attack story. Han Zaiking, a concubine born with a bad fate, accidentally developed an indissoluble bond with Shining God of War Jun Biao, and was involved in a complicated dispute. In order to find clues to their life experience, the two went through many hardships, killed demons all the way, and finally achieved success. As a popular costume fantasy drama in recent years, the Yu Guangyin has naturally received a lot of attention and curiosity. Although the plot is not too fresh, the interpretation is still vivid and interesting, especially the development of the relationship between the two protagonists, although a bit dull, but with a little cuteness. Of course, there are many flaws in the play, such as the costumes, props, special effects, etc., which need to be improved, and the actors' acting performances are also uneven. But this does not prevent us from appreciating some of the highlights of this work. The first thing to say is the two leading actors Zhang Han and Zhu Zudan. As popular young actors at the moment, the two have put a lot of effort into shaping their roles. Zhang Han has restrained some of the previous greasy feeling in the play this time, and his image is more stable and atmospheric. And Zhu Zudan, with her outstanding performance in Three Lives Three Worlds Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms, has also made the audience have a lot of expectations for her performance in this work. However, the cooperation between the two and Liu Guangyin is still a bit immature and needs to be further improved. In contrast, the performances of some other new actors in the play are quite outstanding. For example, Yao Qi, who plays Prince Yun Yang, has full eyes and expressions, and his movements are chic, giving people a refreshing feeling. Another example is Princess Zhao played by Hai Ling. She is soft and stubborn, and has the domineering power of a princess. Although their roles are not very prominent, they still leave a deep impression on the audience. I really look forward to the future development of these new actors, who are undoubtedly the biggest highlight of this drama. In addition, Liu Guangyin has also put a lot of effort into costumes, props and special effects. Although there are still some flaws, it has been done well overall. The exquisite palace scenes, gorgeous costumes, and thrilling stunt shots in the play undoubtedly add a lot of charm to the overall artistic presentation. Although the audience may be attracted by these fancy appearances at the first time, if the content and plot cannot keep up, they will eventually be left out. Therefore, this drama is still worthy of praise in this regard. Of course, we cannot ignore some problems in this drama. The first is that the originality of the plot is not strong enough, and many plot settings seem old. Although it is adapted from a popular novel, it still lacks enough novelty when it is transferred to the screen. In addition, there are some flaws in the overall logic and rationality, and some plot settings still seem strange and stiff. However, this is a fantasy costume drama after all, and there will inevitably be some rationality problems. As long as the plot is properly designed, the audience can accept it. Another thing worth complaining about is the performance of some actors. In addition to the two leading actors, many new actors in the play have shown some potential, but overall they are not very good. Some people's acting is stiff, some are in poor condition, and some are slightly inferior in the rivalry with the protagonist. This will undoubtedly affect the viewing experience of the whole play, so the production team needs to work harder in this regard. In general, although the play Liu Guangyin is not top-notch, it is definitely not a low-quality work. It may not be too innovative, but it is still a good representative work in the category of ancient costume fantasy dramas. Although the plot is a bit old, the interpretation method is still vivid and the artistic presentation is also exquisite. Of course, there are some obvious problems, but as long as it continues to be improved, it will definitely present a better work to the audience. For those audiences who love this type of subject matter, Liu Guangyin is undoubtedly a good choice worth watching. Next news. Zhang Han and Liu Guangyin, how innocent are the audience, and they are mercilessly attacked by this bad drama? People with poor appearance are actually colluding with ugly things. Zhang Han, who used to be the white moonlight of childhood, has given people a feeling of gradually withdrawing from the entertainment industry in recent years, and his image has also been greatly reduced. It is incredible that two years have passed since the broadcast of The Gentleman of East District 8, and Zhang Han's new drama has actually started. 
This time, he once again chose a very challenging subject, the death mode in costume dramas. As soon as Zhang Han appeared on the stage, the audience was immediately discouraged and found that he appeared in front of everyone with a swollen face. This headgear not only fits unnaturally, but also has sharp corners, which looks weird no matter what. In addition, Zhang Han's eyebrows seem to fly up to the sky, which destroys the atmosphere of the play. Obviously, the lack of technical lighting makes the character's face dark and unclear, and only the wide cheeks are illuminated. Does Zhang Han have no idea about his appearance? He dared to choose such a picky red dress. Zhang Han is obviously beaten to a pulp by the comparison with the young and fresh meat nowadays. In Liu Guangyin, except for Zhang Han, none of the other male characters meet the standard of appearance of normal idol dramas. Look at the second prince who is opposite to Zhang Han in the play. The swollen face and similar features are obviously from the same father. The age and appearance of the princes have attracted people's attention. When the second prince and his mother stood side by side, they seemed to be of the same age, making people mistakenly think they were a couple. The relatives of the heroine are all despicable villains, similar to the situation of the heroine. Li Guangyun follows the setting of time travel, so when the heroine first appeared, she happened to escape the mouth of the giant python. With the help of special effects, although the plot seems a bit perfunctory, the core meaning has been conveyed to the audience. The heroine holds a cheap plastic dagger in her hand, and you can even see the paint peeling on the handle, which looks very cheap. Such a cheap prop is actually the key to the heroine's time travel, which shows the poverty of the crew of Liu Guangyun. There is even a line in the play that says, the dagger is very delicate, which is really deceiving the audience's eyes. After the heroine traveled to ancient times, she fell on the street in dishevel. A close-up picture was shown in front of the audience, showing the heroine's distinct eyelashes, smooth black eyeliner, and black eyeshadow, and even the color of her lips was not completely even. The fallen heroine still maintained her fair skin, but once she stood up, the influence of the lighting made her look a little dim. Hans Eichin dragged her stepmother back home. Judging from this distorted expression, the stepmother was indeed in great pain and her face was deformed. The heroine's elder sister is the most deformed supporting role in the play. This face shows exaggerated apple muscles, with slender eyes and a wide grin, the whole person looks both funny and terrifying, as if the old witch has returned to youth and is unbelievable. Hans' ear looks even more disgusting when she doesn't smile. The drooping eyelids immediately revealed her age, and the audience commented mercilessly. Sister looks more like the old lady of the Ziangfu. Han's ears bangs on her forehead are extremely inconsistent with her identity as the daughter of the Ziangfu. People in ancient times lived a pampered life, and every inch of their bodies carried the inheritance of their parents, so they would not cut their hair. Only Zhen Yureo, who came back from Ninguda, would have such bangs. Although the early cool plot was basically that the heroine threatened her stepmother and slapped her sister twice, and then the matter came to an end. Although the audience was excited, the heroine's behavior did not bring her any practical benefits, but instead caused a bad reputation for being domineering. Rough scenery and special effects. As the daughter of the Ziyang Fu, Han's ears clothes were obviously ill-fitting and cheap. The audience even felt that the clothes in the ancient style store were more textured than the one she was wearing. When the heroine Han Zaki needed a break, the audience was shocked by the poverty of the Ziyang Fu. The daughter of the daughter and the concubine's daughter actually lived next door? The heroines in novels usually live in that dilapidated and deserted courtyard, and it is too much to make it luxurious for a TV series. The debate in the court is presented in the play. Although the morning court is about to begin, the scene is so simple that even the court officials can't line up in two rows. The magnificent court scenes of famous works such as The Legend of Zhen Huan are really incomparable. In the costume drama De Huan Yin that just ended, the scene of the morning court is majestic and magnificent, and the standing mahogany pillars make people feel a strong momentum. The court officials occupied the space below, and the open layout was adopted on both sides, and there was even a huge spacious area in the middle. In Liu Guangyin, the place of worship seems cramped, and even the place for selecting concubines is extremely cramped. Just looking at the scene of the prince selecting concubines, there are less than ten participants. This hardly looks like a big country, but gives people the impression of a small country surviving in the cracks. The scene lacks grand and spectacular momentum, and the surrounding scenery can be seen at a glance as fake special effects. The special effects of the clouds in the sky and the flowers in the water are no more than 50 cents, which is really too cheap. Speaking of the legend of Zhen Huan, it does show the majesty and temperament of the royal family. 
The girls who came to the selection are also dressed gorgeously and exquisitely, which is enough to show the intentions of the crew. The protagonists of the Flowing Light are not even dressed as good as the maids in the legend of Zhen Huan. Since Zhang Han plays the role of the fourth son of the Emperor in the Flowing Light, let's compare it with the scene of the third prince's selection of concubines in the legend of Zhen Huan. Although most of the participants are canon fodder, there is only one protagonist King Qin, but the environment still looks solemn and solemn, showing the majesty of the palace. In a simple environment, the male and female protagonists in the costume drama The Flowing Light finally chose each other with their own intentions, reached a marriage strategy, and formed a short-term balance. Please enjoy the backs of Zhang Han and Zhu Zudin walking with majestic steps. They have a strong image of a couple. Unfortunately, after the powerful momentum, what followed was a monotonous and boring plot. The West Garden of the Wangfu gives people the feeling that there is only one house, which is exactly the same as the Xiangfu in the Imperial Palace, and looks shabby and weak. In addition, the appearance of the chief guard in the Wangfu is also a bit regrettable. The nose is completely created by technology and hard work, and it is almost piercing the sky. The front looks like a snake face, but the side face has no edges. Not only did he fail to show the domineering power of the guard, but he couldn't even get into the play. Even the diet of the princess caused dissatisfaction in the play. Look at the white porridge, buns, peanuts, eggs, cakes, bananas and grapes on the table. Doesn't the princess deserve a meat dish? I have to admit that the princess in Liu Guangyin is really hard. Not only does she have to endure the troubles of poor diet and poor living conditions, but she also has to face Zhang Han's face that can overflow at any time. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,